Hello. Sooner or later you'll have to make your own libraries for Altium Designer. And that's what I'm going to go through in this tutorial. The component I will be looking at is this Ethernet connector. Um, here's the footprint. It consists of two big mechanical mounting holes and also 12 normal pads uh, through a hole pads and a um, component outline like this. I will go into Altium Designer and start making the footprint. I have my project open here. I'll right click Add a new PCB library. And PCB libraries contain your PCB footprints. So once I'm in that file, I will go to the PCB library tab here, change the name of this footprint to something very descriptive, like so. I will start off with the first hole that I saw on the datasheet. I can place that by placing a pad and changing the properties of this pad. Uh, for this hole, this mechanical hole, I will remove the designator because it's not uh, it's not a pad that has any electrical meaning. I will also remove the pad here, set that to zero, and click OK. So the first hole I will place at the origin. The next one I have to place 500 mils to the right. You can look at the coordinates on the top left and the bottom left go to 500, 0, right there. Now I want to continue with the first row of pads and these are these four pads are in a row. These are pads 1, 3, 5 and 7. Uh, Altium Designer has a feature that allows you to paste uh, to copy one of those and paste them multiple times in um, either as a line or in a circular path, you could say. So I will create the first pad and then use let Altium Designer copy it several times for me. So I'll start with pad number one. Set some sensible sizes for the drill hole and the pad size. I'll OK that and place that pad anywhere. Because the placement of the first is not done right here. This is just creation of the template that will be copied several times for that first row. So I choose copy. I click on the center to use this, that as the reference for this pad. And I'll delete this instance of it. Now I can use this feature by going to Edit and choosing Paste Special. Here I can click Paste Array, and here I can specify the different uh, options. I want four of these, four of this pad. The text increment is the increment of the pin number or the pad number. And if we look back at the data sheet, we see that the uh, the pin numbers go from one, three, five, and seven, like I said, which means which and that is the reason for my text increment of two. As I start at pad number one, an increment with of two will get me to pad number three, and so on. Uh, the x spacing will be minus eighty mils because I will go in, will be uh, copying them in the negative x direction which is to the to the left basically and I won't change the y spacing because I want a straight line, a horizontal line on the screen. Uh, so this is good. I'll OK this. And now I'm ready to place where I want the first pad to be of this array. And I know the coordinate I don't know the coordinates of this first pad relative to the origin. However, I do know it relative to this, the center of this pad. And to avoid calculating and doing math to get the uh, coordinates relative to the main origin right here, I can set a temporary origin by pressing insert. And you see the dx, dy coordinates on the top left, they've gone to zero. So this is my new temporary origin. And I can just follow the dx, dy coordinates 
to the position that I want and then click to place this array. So the array has been placed pin 1 through 7 um, with the x increments that I specified and all of that. Now we'll place the second row in the same manner. And this row will start at pin number 2. Therefore I will create one of number 2, I will copy it, I will click the center of it to choose that as a reference, I will delete it, and now I will go to edit, paste special, paste array, and the same settings work for this uh, row as well. For this row I'll use pin number 1 as the reference or the sorry the temporary origin by pressing insert and now I can look at dx dy coordinates on the top left to move to the relative coordinate that I am looking for like so very simple okay now I have four more pads left I will place those I will make sure I start at the correct number by pressing tab and choosing pin number 9 because I want to continue from number 8. So again, I will use not I won't use anything new here. Just press insert to choose a temporary origin and move to the correct relative coordinate. And I'll do this for each of these paths. And you see, once I clicked uh, and placed it, my DXDY or my temporary origin automatically moved there. Uh, so you don't always have to do anything to get it. Okay, like this. Now I want to place an outline on the top overlay layer. I won't be very accurate at all. On some components you will have to be that, but I don't care right now. Like so. So, the footprint is finished, I will save it. And I will now, when we look back at our project, I have my PCB library here. I also need to create a schematic library to, for the schematic symbol. So you add a new schematic library. I have done that and cheated, of course. This is not a cooking show, but I won't waste your time looking at creating all of these pins. So once you're in the schematic library editor, and once you go to the schematic library tab here, you see a list of the components. So this is the default component name. I will change the properties of this component. Um, this is a connector, so it has the prefix J. I will change this to a question mark, and the question mark will be replaced by a number when you auto annotate the schematic. Uh, this is the name that will appear in the list of components. Here I can add a footprint, which will be surprisingly the footprint that I just created. As you can see this is the library I just created. Here's the part. I'll OK that, OK that, and OK that. So now I have associated a uh, footprint with it. Uh, the way you usually do this is you create a rectangle, the base of the component. And I have cheated with some of these pins. I will create the last two to show you. This will be pin 7. Press tab to change its name before I place it, which will be something. Place that there. Press tab to change the properties of the next one. Like so. Now because I created this rectangle after these first pins, I will have to move it behind them again so that I can see the names of the pins I already placed. So I will choose uh, send to back and click on the rectangle. 
like so. Now I am done. My libraries are done. So they should be available in the schematic editor. So I press PP to ch add a part. When I look tr through my my um, libraries, I find my library I created. I see the component, the schematic symbol, and um, the footprint. I can OK, OK, and here's the component. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any suggestions for other subjects that I can show, uh, please place those in the comment box. Thank you. Goodbye.